Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. I'm super excited to show you this Barbie extra fancy doll. She just came in and I'm super happy. She's finally in my collection. So we're gonna check her out up close and everything. So we have the box of course, the same one as the pink doll that I already reviewed. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. As you can see, the background is different from the other doll. This one is all pink and the other doll's background was blue. So yeah. Uh, then we have these little parts of the box that are like really really slim compared to the one where the doll is and we have the uh, holographic designs here on the plastic that's really cool here we have the beautiful doll and we're gonna check her out up close in a little bit we have the Barbie extra fancy logo right there it is really really shiny and everything we have the beautiful artwork right here is really really nice looking and uh, yeah that's it for the front so on the back we have the picture of the doll it says barbie extra fancy here and uh, we have some more little images here on the side we have the other two dolls in this line again i already did a review on this one and um i'm still on the fence about this one but yeah we'll see and we have the little pet right here and uh, yeah that's basically it for the box now i'm going to remove her from it and I'll be right back okay so I'm finally back and here she is out of the box she is really really pretty so let me show you first the pet because I really really love the pet so it is this blue cat as you can see it is all like see-through plastic I really like that like it gives like uh, a lot of uh, fantasy elements to this line so that's kind of cool I guess and it has its head a little bit tilted so that's really cute it has glitter on the inside of the plastic which i think is a really nice detail and also as you can see here on the back it has these white stripes and they are actually flocked as you can see it is really noticeable because there's like a lot of texture on the flocking so i really love that detail this is like the first pet that comes with that and i think it's a really really nice detail that they should add in every single barbie extra pet because uh, I don't know if you're going to like put a pet on every single doll like at least make it look really really nice like in my opinion like the previous ones look really nice but this one looks really cool to me and as you can see it has this pineapple sunglasses they are like metallic gold and we have some green details and uh, they have a really big rubber band holding them so let me remove that really quickly So there you can see the little face it is a totally new sculpt for the kitty so i really like it and we have the glasses here they have these little like uh i don't know notches here on the sides and uh the cat has holes on the sides of the head so that you can put them yeah they stay pretty pretty well so i like that we love this pet like one of my favorites overall and now we're going to check out the accessories she came with so I already put a lot of them on the doll so I'm going to show you the ones that are not on the doll we have these sunglasses as you can see they're metallic gold they don't have like a lens or anything that is see-through so I think um, that's something that a lot of collectors don't really like but um, they are really really nice in my opinion we also have this purse which is it's like a handbag I would say and it has some details here on the front some roses and some studs it's a really cute mold and uh yeah it's more like a clutch yeah and of course you can uh slide the doll's hand through that little uh opening right there so that she can hold it really easily and then the extra accessories she had were this little necklace right here the long one which is metallic gold as you can see it's really really nice i really like all the gold details that this doll has like basically all the jewelry she has on has like a uh, metallic gold look to it and i really like that like it just elevates the doll so much in comparison to the like gold plastic but not metallic gold plastic yeah so i love that and uh she also came with these two uh little bracelets so this is one and this is the other one which is the 
one with the orange painted detail i really like that as well because it goes really well with her hair for the rest of the accessories we have the earrings which are metallic gold again and they have this detail here in blue i personally i haven't seen these earrings in any other barbie doll like i don't know if they're from my scene or whatever but i really like the way they look we also have a metallic gold choker and this other necklace which i uh, actually i have seen like a lot of times but again it's a really nice piece and then we have these two things so we have the bracelet which looks like a little flower this is the only piece that is like basically like a different color compared to the rest of the jewelry but i do like it because it goes well with the rest of the colors that she has on and then we have this purse which is a rose and it goes so so well with the rest of the printing that she has in the rest of the outfit so i like that and um yeah now let's check out the hair it is almost like a pastel orange and i really love it it is so so soft um, it has some tensile as you can see here So yeah, again, that's something that uh, most collectors don't like uh, I think I'm not going to remove it just right now because I think it's not that bad and it makes the hair look kind of nice in my opinion of course, but I do know that it tends to get really uh, ugly looking over time, so we'll see and then on this side we have some braids right here that's a really nice detail as well and they are tied here on the back and they just continue here on the rest of the hair and again it is super soft the only thing I have to say is that it's not as long as it is pictured on the promo pictures so there you can see how long it is it goes I would say down to her knees so right here are her knees and uh, yeah basically down to her knees it's kind of sad because let me put her back here for a moment uh, the picture here on the box there you can see how long the hair looks like it basically goes to the floor and like don't get me wrong she has a really really long hair but uh, this would have been really cool although I do think maybe that much hair would have been kind of messy in my opinion so I don't know it's like Maybe I would have loved a little bit more hair, but maybe not this long, <laughs> so yeah. But of course, that's a personal preference. Then we have the face. So this is the only disappointment I have with this doll. And it is that, as you can see, it is quite pixelated. I do not like that at all, of course. Who would like that on a doll? But yeah, here we have the face. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I normally say like it doesn't look that bad from far away or something like that but in this case it is kind of noticeable yeah like pretty much and it is quite shiny so that's the only downside about this doll because the face is so so pretty there you can see the makeup is like orange on the corner of the eye and then it fades to some blue which is really interesting compared to the rest of the barbie dolls these days that don't have any eyeshadow at all so i really like the way she looks so it's a shame that it is so so pixelated and shiny like it's not like pixelated it's more like like it looks like a bunch of little dots so yeah and it looks like like grainy i don't know how to, to explain that but yeah that's really really sad um but the face sculpt is really really cute and i guess on the shelf she will look kind of nice i hope so so yeah Maybe I'll, I'll put her on the back, but no, I, I really like her. Like, I'm, I'm not going to put her on the back. Um, then we have the outfit. So first we have this top and it has this floral print that repeats on the rest of the doll. So um, there you can see some blue flowers, some pink ones, some like uh, hot pink ones, some purple ones, uh, a bunch of little leaves. And the background is this like mint color. I really like it and um as you can see the fabric has these little like dots that make it look as it had sequins and it is like holographic little dots so that's really cute this all is like pure uh like summer it is super shiny everywhere as you can see here 
the stitching details well not just stitching details like the the basic stitching <laughs> on the on the top are made with gold thread which i think it's really cool as well here on the bottom of the top we also have that and here on the sides uh, let me see here on the neck as well so i really love that detail and then we have the skirt so the skirt is something that uh, a lot of people also don't really love about this doll and it is because it is made of this like see-through plastic like a vinyl skirt so in my opinion this line like the fancy one is trying really different textures so we have the like the pleather for the pink doll we have a lot of tulle and see-through fabrics for the um, teddy bear one and we have some really bold like shiny pieces for this one so um i i actually enjoy the fact that they decided to add this kind of fabric because uh, this is actually used in modern fashion so yeah why not um it's kind of different for what we always have uh, in the dual market so we have this waistband which is this blue material and it is all like uh, shiny and holographic then we have the skirt so it is really full cool. I really like that as well and um, yeah it has the same printing as on the fabric uh, but there's not background as you can see it is see-through so that you can see the pants that are underneath and that's how it looks on the inside it is not finished anywhere and I would say that's because uh, I don't know I think this material does not need any kind of like finishing or anything so yeah and also the cape from the pink doll was not finished either so really really nice it goes all the way around as you can see and uh, it has velcro here on the back so that you can remove it so let's remove it right now and we have this pants which are really cool um, I do prefer it with the skirt but we have these pants which are um, like really stretchy and uh, they have velcro here on the back they have all the little dots that I showed you on the top and uh, they are really shiny as well so I like it and again we have the same printing as on the top Really, really cute and then we have the shoes which are these boots they are laced up on the front they have the little laces tied up on the top of the shoe and they are heels which um, are not compatible with the same heel feet as the regular and the petite Barbie dolls because these dolls have like a different kind of incline to her feet but I really like the fact that they decided to add a curvy doll with heels because I do think this is like the first one that has heels if I'm not wrong I I have a lot of them and I don't think they actually have heels like any of them because we have the one with the neon beanie that one is in sneakers we have the one with the basketball purse she's in boots like those construction boots and we also have the one with the brown hair and the uh, a start theme and she has boots also so yeah I think she is the one the first one with the inclined feet so that she can fit some heels so that's pretty cool overall I think she's a really really cute doll she is my favorite in terms of colors because she's really really like cohesive the um, jewelry is basically all really coordinated with the rest of her look all the gold details are really really pretty the pattern that she has on is really cute i really enjoyed the fact that they decided to go with a different kind of fabric for the overskirt and uh, yeah i think all the accessories are a really really nice um selection i would say they chose some really nice ones for example the earrings the long necklace i really like it we have the choker and everything she's just really really pretty and um for the glasses i think they could easily go here on top and they would look really good so there's no big deal about that i love 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 the pet so that's a really 
nice one and i really like this purse although this is like the only piece that maybe doesn't match that much with the rest of the outfit although she has pink on it but yeah um again the only downside is the face which is really 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 sad that they decided to go with this like super weird printing on the face but yeah i think that's it for this video thank you so so much for watching tell me in the comments down below what do you liked about this doll if you liked her also don't forget to subscribe to my channel activate the little bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a new video also don't forget to follow me on my instagram my tiktok those links will be always in the description down below and i'll see you on the next one bye